Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video I'm gonna fix this broken salt grinder and as you guys can see when I press the button it doesn't work. Now the batteries are fine it's just that the little mechanism within the grinder has broken. Now this grinder has a DC motor but it also has a case just like this one with gears sandwiched on top of each other. What this does is it gives you more torque and more power. Now it doesn't give you more speed but for something like a salt grinder that needs to grind the salt it needs more power and torque. Now what I think happened was either the gear has gotten dislocated or it's gotten broken from the tension. Either way, we'll find out and we'll fix it and I have this replacement, I've taped it so it doesn't come apart. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we have to do is remove the battery. So you just twist it, you can see the little arrow, it goes to the unlock and then it just comes right out. Now I'm gonna put this aside because there's nothing wrong with the batteries or the switch. Now, if you look inside, you can see that there is two screws and then there is two sets of screws on this side as well. So I have to remove those as well. And for those of you wondering, these two uh, pieces of metal are actually contact points and they would touch these two little pieces here and that's what would provide the battery power and power the DC motor. So as you guys can see, both screws have come off and a good tip is to get a piece of tape and put your screws on the tape so they don't get lost or fall off the table and you know, that situation where the screw falls off the table and you probably have to spend hours upon hours finding it. Well, you don't need to, you could just put on a piece of tape and you will never lose it and you could put them in like these little pairs so you know which is which. And yeah, the screws have been taken off. Now, these both pieces of plastic, these black uh, plastic housings have been glued onto this entire stainless steel housing. So what I need to do is I'm gonna apply a flame and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat the adhesive, put a flathead in between the plastic and the stainless steel housing and separate the two and I'm sure I'll be able to pull this a little piece out and get access to the motor along with the gears and everything. When melting the adhesive, you don't wanna hold your lighter too close. You wanna hold it at a perfect distance. So it's not too close, but it's not too far as well. So you wanna hold it at that perfect medium distance. Now you slowly wanna turn the housing like this. And what this will do is this will evenly melt the adhesive. So you're not holding it in one place. And if you do that, you'll start to burn the plastic. So this way it'll evenly heat up and melt the adhesive. Now to check to see that if it's hot enough, just take your hand close, but don't touch it. And if you feel heat, then that means you're ready to go. So you wanna take a microfiber towel, hold the housing and get a very thin flat head and slip it in between the piece of plastic and the stainless steel housing, just like this. And you kind of want to separate it like this and kind of turn it. And this should separate it. Always point away from you. So you're going that way, not this way. Because if the flathead slips, you might end up hurting yourself. So always point away from your body. And like this, just cut right through the adhesive. And what the heat had done is it had melted this adhesive and it's making it much easier to pry away. If I hadn't done that, it would probably almost be a nightmare to remove this. And once you're done, you can take these pair of pliers and just pull it and it'll come right on out. And as you can see, the stainless steel has not even been damaged. You always wanna take your time, never rush. Now that it's been removed, you could put your stainless steel housing aside and this is the piece that we're gonna focus on. Now you wanna be very careful because there's these two pieces of wires. One is your ground and the other one is a positive. Now what you wanna do is you wanna be very careful when removing this piece. So you kinda of wanna tilt it towards the wires rather than away so it doesn't break. I'm gonna be very gentle. Just like that. And then this mechanism should come right on out. So there is your DC motor, this is the mechanism. And as you guys can see, it's completely jammed. So my theory was right. It is this mechanism and you can see it's kind of uneven. So definitely one of the gears has gotten broken. So we'll take it apart and we'll see what's inside. And also meanwhile, you wanna put this uh, assembly aside as well because we don't really need that. This is what we're gonna be focusing on. So what you wanna do is take your pry tool and slowly pry up upon this little piece and it should come right off. 
And there is the gear. So we have three gears and they're sandwiched on top of each other. There should be three layers. And what I'm gonna do is, because this piece is gonna go into trash anyway and I have this brand new piece, all I'm gonna do is just take the gears out and see where it failed. So I'm just gonna have to remove this piece. Then this one. And then layer by layer, I'll remove it until I find the problem. And the truth comes out, right when I got to the first layer, you could see how this piece that holds these three gears in place, this little gear piece has been broken. So I'll bring it right up. You could see how the teeth have all been eaten. So what this was doing is it was causing it to jam and it wasn't allowing it to turn. So this was the piece, I guess, that was causing all the issues. Well, fortunately, let's put all this aside. Luckily, I have this replacement, so I'll put in a replacement and hopefully it should work just like how it should have. And you can see how this piece sits evenly and also when I turn it, you can see the gears inside turning. That couldn't be said about this one. So now what you wanna do is you wanna put this piece with the hole into the DC motor. So it should slide right in. You kind of have to turn it around and then it'll come onto the contact points. Hold on, this piece, this wider piece should go with the wide piece and the thin piece should go with the thin piece and it should slide right in just like this, perfect. Then you're gonna wanna take this piece and put it over the housing. So there we go. So it should click in just like that. Now, all you wanna do is slide this assembly into your stainless steel piece. And you want to do it sideways so it doesn't come apart. So it should be flush with the stainless steel, just like this, and it should slide right in. And before you put anything back to where it was, make sure you put your four screws back into place. Now, personally, I would recommend putting crazy glue and putting it back. But personally, me, I don't have that. So what I would do is I would use the flame again to heat up the adhesive and then hold it with the microfiber towel, obviously not with your bare hands and the adhesive will eventually uh, contact with the stainless steel and they should bond together. And then once you've crazy glued it, all you have to do is put the battery back in. And then turn it on. And you can see how it's turning. Now let's test it to see if it works. So I attached the salt. Let's press the button, let's see if it dispenses salt. Oh yeah. It's working beautifully. Before it wouldn't grind the salt. So what it does is it takes these bigger chunks and it grinds it into much smaller chunks. Yeah, it's working beautifully. So yeah, that's gonna conclude my video. So thank you guys so much for watching. More videos are to come and I'll see you guys in the next one.